Welcome. We're going to go over some practice problems for uh, Mass C, Section 1.1, Range, Domain, and End Behaviors. So, instructions here. Given a linear function with a domain restriction, determine the range of that function. So, this is a line with negative slope. So, it's going to go down as we go from left to right. And notice the, the uh, boundary points here are both closed, so they're going to be inclusive. So I'm going to have a boundary point here that's going to be included. And then we're going to have a slope of negative one half. So we're going to go down one and two to the right for some amount of time until we get to the other end point, which is where x equals positive six. And that's also closed. So we know this point here is negative four comma something. And we know this end point here is six comma something. Because that's our domain, which is all the values x can be, from negative four to six. So, this guy right here with the negative 4 is going to be the maximum. This guy here is going to be the minimum for the range. So, we're going to do y of negative 4. So, we're just going to plug negative 4 in for x and calculate the y. And then we're also going to do y of 6. So, we put negative 4 in. So, negative times a negative is going to be a positive. So, that's going to be a positive. And then a half of 4 is 2. And then to that we add positive 4. So positive 2 and positive 4 is positive 6. So the y value up here is 6. Then we put 6 in. So a negative times a positive, that's going to be a negative. And half of 6 is 3. Then we add the 4. So negative 3 plus 4 is positive 1. So there's our range. Our range is going to be from the least value, the lowest value, which is positive 1, up to the maximum value, which is positive 6. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Okay, this guy right here, uh, positive slope, slope of 3. Notice the boundary points here are open, so they're not included. So they're excluded with a slope of 3 here. We're going with positive slope, so we're going up as we go to the right. We're going up 3 and over 1. Okay, and we know this guy here is negative 5 comma something. And that something here is going to be the minimum value in the range. And this point up here for the end point is going to be 11 comma something. And that y value there... It's going to be the maximum point of the range. So if you call this A and B, that means my range is going to be from A to B. I know all that because the line has positive slope here, or the line segment has positive slope. So this is the minimum value, A. This is the maximum value, B. So there we go. So now we're going to do uh, Y of negative 5. find the value for y when x is negative 5, and then we're going to find the value for y when x is positive 11. So, 3 times negative 5, well, three uh, positive times a negative is going to be negative, 3 times 5 is 15, and then to that we're going to add negative 4. So, negative 15 and negative 4 is negative 19. So, there's our minimum value for the range, negative 19. And then we plug in 11. 3 times 11, the positive times the positive is positive. Okay, and then 3 times 11 is 33. And then to that, we're going to add negative 4. So 33 and negative 4 is positive 29. So there's our range. Our range, y, in this line segment, varies from the minimum value of negative 19 to a maximum value of positive 29. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Okay, last problem we'll do as an example. Same thing, we have a negative slope here, and we're going to have one point is open. The negative 12, the left-hand point is open. We have a negative slope of negative 5 over 6. And then the point on the right, that's a closed boundary. 
So we're mixing open and closed boundaries on different ends of the line segment here. So this guy here is going to be negative 12 comma something. And that something is going to be the maximum value for the range. And this guy here is going to be 24 comma something. And that something is going to be the minimum value for the range. So we're going to do y of negative 12. And then y of 24. Y of 24. So a negative times a negative is going to be a positive. And then we're going to do, so this is 12 times 5 over 6. So we'll go 5, 6 times 12. So 6 goes into 12 2 times. 2 times 5 is 10. Then we add 5. So the maximum value for y on this line segment is positive 15. And then we plug 24 in. So a negative times a positive is going to be a negative. And then the same thing, we're going to have 24 times 5 over 6. So 6 goes into 24 4 times. 4 times 5 is 20. Plus, and then we add 5. So negative 20 plus 5 is negative 15. So there's our range. Our range goes from a minimum value of negative 15 to maximum value of positive 15. Okie dokie. Well, that was the last uh, example poem I was going to do at the practice set. Good luck doing the rest of the practice set on your own. Later.